Lee Dodo Bajo Evan Belford, ahead Kevin Fargas on row nine. Last year's winner, RB Andy Tama, who is a back of the grid penalty by the number 54 of his rider. It's less than ideal. He's going to make his way back into pit lane. He'll be joined. Either that or he'll be joined. A good start for the Irishman ahead of race number one. But there you go as well. As we see the Junior GP riders make their way through. That it used to be more to the old. Next to our left hander for the Raiders and through here. I was watching some of the Raiders from turn 10 over the years. And if he does manage to get going, safety car. And keep an eye now. Number 11, Adrian Cruces oh, is starting off. Oh, the green flag is off and we're ready to go, Liam. So the red lights from Canada, I believe, into third. Eddie O'Shea slipping back but slip streaming down towards one. But Uri Yarksy late on the brakes. Larry on the break into turn one slot. Yeah, Alvaro Carpe and Jesus Brios are going the wrong way. But out front it's Max Quiles. Remember, he's got a double long lap penalty coming his way. But coming there, then it's Marcus Uriarty in third. Cruces in fourth. O'Shea fifth. Quiles to be an out front to serve those double long lap penalties. We've seen in the path through the field, but I can imagine it might be quite difficult for the young slate on the breaks. And it looks like it's Rios. He does take P's back a position there. Rico Samuel just a couple of positions further and very iconic number 27 Max Keyless if he does any more of that few laps you can see the boards hanging out there for the riders to serve the long lap penalty yes Rosenthal Carpe and Morosi from P17 on the grid he's already said to thankfully this time he was on the limit but served it well he won to P very long long lap penalty now he's got another one of them to but we have seen him already this year particularly in Mazzano start from deeper on the grid he's Marcus Uriarty no strangers to the podium no strangers to victory EP class, and the flying fin is up to a sensational start. Yeah, take it. They'll have to get the finger out if they want to catch the top two for now, but as Uriarty charges to the front, cuts the nose off the young finish of 12 as he powered down towards the 13th. So for now, that's a get change over Uriarty and Samela. So these two believe that they have the see the boards once again for Max Kielis and Lukwoni whatsoever. So to come across the line for lap number three, it's 17 up. Uh, you're right there. Uh, I think that was Yambias, I believe. No, not at all. A 149-310 then from Hakim Danish. Well, many of the riders are in the mid 149s as things stand. Uri number eight machine on my British talent team, MLAV Racing, has gone. Uriarty and Salmele. Classy duo lead out front. Jesus and the, the initial pole setter, Morosi. He is up to eighth position, so fourth sector. Here, Jesus Rios coming strong now. Eddie O'Shea is going to have a problem. Eddie O'Shea might have a problem coming into turn one as they get to slipstream down. Yeah, he believes he has a dry weather pace to fight for the podium and possibly the way to the bubble and well across the other side of the street and yesterday. And he's very impressed about the way he can talk under the bubble. That's a perfect example there, Chris. Yeah, way to make me eat my words, Eddie. <laughs> Rico Salmela. Max Quiles is still running in fifth place, but on second time. Yeah, but Buchanan is still in sixth ahead of Morosi. Yeah, just a jump over. Well, we've got them both languishing further down the field. Can't find them on my time. You want Casey O'Gorman watch. He's in P31 at the moment. So he's just ahead. Oh. Here comes Rios up the inside into second and Eddie O'Shea leading the way. So these two have as Max Quiles has shot his way up into fourth position. Jesus Rios running in. Expect this to chop and change. This front quartet, they've got what? about Finn after dominant performance in Estoril last time out. He looks to be struggling for his second long lap penalty. He went from P1 to P12 the and rejoined, let's see, outside the top 10 for sure. Maybe out I see, and what just happened to Max Keelers here, because it flashed up saying he'd served his second long lap penalty. It only took him a couple of laps to get back up to the top group. So believe me when, but the chasing riders further back of Morocco's is already in fourth spot, about half a second off the lead. Meyer than the pack, making a move on Cormac Buchanan into turn 10 as well. Yeah, what this chasing pack need to do now is just go over the line, but it's down to about four soon because Morosi is on the charge here and he is bringing a free initial pole sitter, but it's Morosi who wins this battle as Cruces remains in fifth back for the lead. Looks like he's given the initiative to Uriarty. No, he has the inside at turn four for the lead. One rider that's found reverse gear and set like a stone at the moment. Yeah, he's so got a should, problem, surely. Yeah, he must have a problem there. You can see him in the background there with the white helmet just in front of that. The likes of Rushi Moodley, the number 21 and 15. So the rider has shown great form throughout the season so far. Has got the pace, charges through the pack, 15. Yeah, it was a packed queue there, but there, it was a quality 
quality. Uh, Q1 Trio is now turned into a group of about nine, ten riders. Bad heaven. Jesus Rios has dropped into fourth position, I believe. Oh, no, he's still in three lead, so <laughs> I think I can be forgiven on that one. Morosi, who was leading this five, that was actually Rosenthaler, so it's easy, as you say, Chris, to get these. But chopping and changing in the med pack there, Morosi making his way to the front, and O'Shea back straight. And you just mentioned Casey O'Gorman there, Chris. He's a fair off the point, so barring any disaster for the Raiders and the points, actually stalling on the grid ahead of the warm-up lap, it could be has race sevens where p15 is Rammerstorfer. he recorded a 149 improvements if he's to land himself into the point here today now it's eddie o'shea who is still out in front ahead of oriarty uruguayan yeah one of the riders that was a bit of a leg out there from yambias uruguay for that anti yambias my apologies to them so yes he chops to the inside of his is rios rios rendi i said i saw five bucks you've got to wake up early to get the best of his is rios Three, uh, turn nine, we thought we were going to see another overtake there, just as we saw on the British talent team. MLAV Racing is happy to lead from the Uriarty out wide and taking advantage of that almost. What seeing that Jesus Rios is on his inside, so Rios takes advantage of that. But that's going from Max Kiles on the 28 team. Australia Galicia Zero Crest can lay a glove on the number eight of the British for Candle Yambia. So for now, it's O'Shea from Yambias, Kiles, Buda, Boggio and Rosenthal are running your top 10 further backs. Yeah, I think the front two here are going to have a big, big problem soon as in the top 10. So it looks like he is going to charge hard. He's got his teammate, Yambias, just a the number 94. Not for long, though. It looks like Kiles is having a little look. 94 still holds in second place, and now Kiles is having another look up the inside, but into the final corner. But could it make a stack? Also, Rudy Harty and Reed of riders that down to Leo Ravensdorfer and fact of Yambias as a rider went out wide there at the bottom of our screen there but then long out to try on the Australia Galicia machine the 94 the Uruguayan riders now takes the lead for the first time in this race after taking it from Eddie O'Shea shouldn't be worried because the Spanish rider as we saw a couple of times last year so Yambias he was challenging for the lead he was in second position Riarty all of them though are very much in with the chance of the podium your race leader here ahead of Jesus Rios. Then is Eddie O'Shea with moved up into fourth position, just ahead of Marcus Uriar. Towers past three of them as Matt Kielas hung out to try a little bit there from 47 of Boggio, Dodo Boggio. He's in this group as well. He set the fastest lap, Kielas and Yambias there. So the number 47 there on is a rider that will not be worried about setting anyone up, Chris. What did I say, Liam? Drop from P1 all the way down to p5 in the spin uriarty now in second and jesus rios your championship leader in no if it stays like this we will have shared championship leaders and cruces is going for a doubler yes he does up the end that was cruces up the inside of two riders there a great overtake down towards the final corner downhill into the final corner a very fast ride right. eddie o'shea uriarty Rios, Morosi, Kiles, Cruz at the back of the top 10, down towards turn number one. Who's going to be late on the brakes? An absolute demon on the brakes into turn one as Roland Tyler out. It is that close. It looked like Eddie O'Shea had actually gone a bit wide there, coming deep the first sector and enter towards the back straight, going through seven and eight right. And Eddie O'Shea is still leading, but is that Uriarty about to have a little look up the end? think he's getting knocked back. He's had a double long lap penalty. He's been knocked back a few positions. Three laps and what? Two corners, three corners remaining. Can, can he keep his cool under pressure? I'll get it out eventually. <laughs> and well, it's a bit warm in here as the sun is shining down on this beautiful Lunya. 15 riders all within the chance of winning this race. But it's now Uriarty in second with Rosenthal around here starting to make his mark on this race. And Uriarty takes a very round the outside. It's cool and calm as you like. And the Taylor's curse just yet. Is yeah, I hope I haven't said anything about it this year. Given that all the other riders seem to prefer the tighter line, but it's working for him every time. That's where we are now. Adrian Cruz is then. You see the number 11 have a little look upside. If time this to perfection, the pole sitter, we haven't mentioned him too much. He's been mired, but he's making his timing, his charge just right. Um, what does hurt is that Alvaro it's Jacob Rosenthaler who has dived up the inside there. And they will be a little bit wary of the number 17 in third spot. It's a come across Cruces and Rios, your championship leader. Four, five abreast, Yambi has come together and turn one with Kiles having to go off circuit there. In the position he was as he ran off track, so that could 
Spell disaster. Quarters to go for Max Killers as Rosenthaler round the outside. Back. Yeah, that turn one mistake going wide at you. would imagine that's going to put ready. He's been through the double long lap penalty twice and made his way back. But have to go less than a lap and a half to go. But out front, it's Eddie O'Shea, Marcus Uriarte, Henry Morosi in P7, Dodo Bajo, Max Killers, and Cormac Buchanan. Last lap. How many laps has he led? ahead of the chaos happening. Eddie O'Shea down towards turn one. Uriarty around the outside crushes up the entire back down to P5. But for now, it's still Eddie O'Shea that leads the way. Different line to take coming out of turn three. Crushes almost tagging the back. Chaos up the outside into turn four, into P3. Arrival so far, shuffles Rios down to fourth for now. And Rosenthaler looking for the victory move. And he ran it wide. Eddie O'Shea, P class at Circuit de Barcelona, Catalonia. It's the Brit who leads four of Jesus Rios. is oh, not out of this Rios, one. Oh, Riarty and Eddie O'Shea. Cleanly and leading the way with two corners to go. So Cruces punted out. Right corner, Cruces looks for it. But no, it's going to be Rios. One of Uriarty and Cruces who just hold on for the top. Rios, Rios, your championship leader, times it to up. And we've got... A um, shortcut under investigation for Max Star is shining bright for the future. The 54 once more has taken victory. Three out of four so far for Rio. Carpe securing top 10 finishes. 10 ahead of Hakim Danish. Eddie O'Shea is up to 12th. Uh, before Kiles takes the final point scoring position ahead.